up guys it's stoneface ether 777 here again and today i have a topic on semen retention and the benefits the pros the cons things of that such right so this is mainly for all my fellas right you should practice semen retention i've been on semen retention speaking from experience for about two to four years, two years on, two years off, right? Now, it gets rocky, there's some ups and downs, you get this sense of, oh, you wanna release, but not all the time do you want to, right? And most of the time you wanna direct your sexual energy towards your goals, because it'll plunge you forward, right? Now, if you're constantly one of those persons that is a slave to your urges, right? It can be a very challenging situation for you, right? But when you sh learn to overcome your sexual urges, you build a power, a discipline. And when you learn to direct it towards productivity, direct it towards your goals, you are able to then achieve your goals a lot quicker than if you would be masturbating, having sex, you know? So I think it helps in many ways now there's pros to it and there's cons to it now i'm going to talk about the cons first to get that out the way now the cons are you will have less energy less drive less motivation right your skin won't be as clear your voice won't be as deep you won't have much libido and you won't have like a sharp cognitive function, right? Because you got to think about it. Your endocrine system is constantly sending signals to your brain to let your brain know what it wants or what the body wants, right? So if your sacral is sending signals to your brain to let your brain know hey i need a release if you fall slave to your mind you're a fucking pussy but if you control your mind you're then not considered a pussy because you have power over your mind your mind doesn't have power over you and when you start to strengthen that, when you start to really get into discipline, 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 right? You start to take cold showers, you start to work out more, you start to, you know, eat more healthy, you start to journal, whatever it is that you do that has some sort of productivity within it is going to help push you forward now here is the pros of semen retention now the pros of semen retention would be a lot more hair growth right you can see my ethers growing to the fucking sun right nail growth um your skin will get more clearer your voice will get more deeper you will have more motivation more energy more drive more libido more cognitive function you can conversate a lot better you can pick up on social cues you know you can work out for longer and they call that endurance right so those are the pro the pros of semen retention and that's what you want to get to right and it's going to take some time 
within about I believe it's a week to about 45 days the testosterone skyrockets a little bit but it doesn't go that high as it would when you're like practicing productivity you're not giving in to your sexual urges you're not constantly getting this high of dopamine right <laughs> When you stimulate yourself in different ways other than sexually, you start to become the man that you want to be, the man that you see yourself being, right? That's what you want. So, holding on to your spiritual essence, your seed, is very important right guys what I'm telling you you have more of a better chance of being successful in the future a lot quicker you will and you will get to your goals if your mind can conceive what you want you can achieve what you want right and one of the practices that I do, right, to retain my seed is I keep my mind off of sexual things. And I keep my mind thinking about productive things. And you also have to put in the action to be productive so that you don't think about, oh, I need a release. Oh, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. You're thinking about purpose, right? And that's key when it comes to that. You're not going to be the man that you want to be if you're giving up your seed and you're just doing it for like a temporary satisfaction, right? There's not a long term satisfaction that you're getting from it. However, when you achieve your goals through semen retention, you have that long-term satisfaction that high on life, it may feel like, right? And that's a way better feeling than having dopamine for a long period of time due to your temporary pleasure right so guys I love you guys all but remember purpose is priority do not give in to your sexual urges fellas it's not worth it for some temporary dopamine become a man become the man that you want to be